This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 7th of November. I'm James Spann. Uh, we're in great shape through the weekend. Next week, the coldest air so far this season, perhaps about a week away. And yeah, model madness with snowflakes around here next week. Come on now. Uh, we'll get in there and take a look at all of that. Uh, we'll start with some of the Skycam shots around the network this afternoon. First off, the view coming from Tuscaloosa. Looking north from high top the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. The sky there bright and sunny on a breezy and cool autumn day. That's a sky cam at Cheeha State Park looking down the spine of the Talladega Mountains. Fall colors are still looking good there. And up north, that's the Tennessee River as seen from the sky cam in Decatur. Big upper trough over the eastern U.S. helping to push down the colder air. And as expected, many spots having a hard time getting out of the 50s today. At mid-afternoon, 57 for Birmingham, Anniston, and Gadsden. Tuscaloosa managing 62, but once the sun goes down, we'll drop off quickly and we'll see lows in the 30s early tomorrow morning. And around the nation, I'd say it's seasonally cool for early November. About the only warmth left is down in South Florida. Here's a watch warning map. Got some winter weather issues back in the uh, northwest. And uh, Weather Service in Atlanta has got some of their counties under a uh, frost or a freeze advisory. But again, uh, uh, for a lot of folks, we've already had a frost or a freeze, and those will stop soon. Obviously, the big story is uh, this thing. Uh, th this is a horrible uh, potential for a humanitarian crisis here. This is a super typhoon. Uh, Haiwan has been the name, but in the Philippines, they call this Yolanda. Uh, the now, now, now here's one thing about this. There's no uh, hurricane hunters here, no aircraft reconnaissance data. So everything you're hearing, it's based on satellite estimates. But using the standard classification routines, the top winds, sustained winds, are near 195 miles an hour. That's mind-boggling, with wind gusts to 245. I mean, th this is like a uh, you know 30 mile wide EF4 tornado approaching here. Uh, and uh, it, the eye wall is pretty much on the uh, eastern islands now. And uh, here's a look at the uh, radar. Uh, this is uh, coming out of the uh, meteorological uh, group there in the Philippines. You can see the eye clearly on that radar. looks like the radar is over on the western side of the islands, but it's going to be a very, very rough ride. And I'm afraid there's great potential for very high loss of life with this thing. Uh, for those with interest in the islands, there's the high-resolution track plotted on Google Earth. And uh, this will be coming across the central part of the Philippines. Uh, this is well south of Manila. Uh, but again, that's uh, going to be very tough. I'm afraid this will be a major, major story. And uh, we'll watch that unfold in coming days. All right, uh, let's take a look at modeling. we got some things to talk about around here. Nothing like that, thank goodness. This is the uh, GFS, the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. There's the big trough over the east coast. Pretty strong shortwave over the Dakotas. And down below that, uh, we're... Sunny and cool tomorrow. Start the day in the 30s. The high will be around 60. Not as windy as today. Will be hard to find a cloud in the sky. Great night for high school football games tomorrow night. Clear and cold. You'll need a jacket. Temperatures will be in the 40s for those games. Saturday, great day for college football. Saturday morning, I think we'll be in the upper 30s. The high should be in the low to mid 60s. Auburn up in Knoxville, Tennessee. The sky will be sunny up there. They'll be in the 50s at kickoff. Alabama LSU, Tuscaloosa, sky will be clear. Uh, 50s at kickoff, falling in the 40s by the second half. Much of the country is dry. This is Sunday. Same deal, we're cool and dry. The high, upper 60s, upper 60s, maybe some folks touching 70. Monday of next week, we're dry, but look at that 1042 millibar high about to come down across the border. We're going to keep an eye on that. This is Tuesday. You can see very strong energy diving down out of Canada. Going to pull that cold air down to 1045 millibar high Tuesday. Uh, wow. Uh, the sitting at uh, the junction of Minnesota, Iowa, South Dakota, Nebraska. And uh, you can see that there's a surface cold front coming down with that. And, and there might be a sprinkle maybe Tuesday night. And we'll probably have to insert that at some point, but th that should not be a big deal. And this is Wednesday. Uh, the trough is progressive, moves on to the east. And down below that, it is a cold day. Uh, Wednesday morning, we'll probably be in the 20s here. Uh, and the high Wednesday would be in the 40s. I mean, that's going to be cold. And then uh, Thursday morning might be the coldest where we go well down in the 20s. And some of the colder pockets might make a run at the upper teens. It's very early in the season for that. And again, there's Thursday, and uh, we start to modify Thursday afternoon. 
Of course, what the buzz is all about, it's this. This is the uh, European, and it puts down a, a snow here. I mean, that is accumulating snow across North Alabama, uh, showing snow amounts of one to almost three inches along and north of Interstate 20. And this would be a th- Wednesday night or Thursday morning. And uh, let's all say it together. This is voodoo. I don't think that verifies uh, based on the pattern, based on the climatology for November. That doesn't make a lot of sense, but it certainly caught a lot of eyebrows raised earlier today when the 12Z run came out. We'll, we'll watch things. Hey, stranger things have happened here. No doubt it's going to be cold, but I just don't think that happens. Here's a look at the anomalies off the GFS for uh, late Wednesday night. It's just cold. I mean, that's 20 degrees below average. So, again, we fully expect lows in the 20s in here by uh, Wednesday morning and Thursday morning of next week uh, in multiple mornings with sub-freezing temperatures. So get ready for a big November chill. All right, let's go out there a little deeper in the month. This is the 21st of November off the GFS. That's a nice-looking little uh, trough coming in here with showers and storms. And on the 23rd, this is uh, Saturday the 23rd, uh, that's lifting out, and we are cool and dry. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you can, catch us on the live stream or the television side this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.